Hey, I get to show some cards today. Taking a break. Uh, the candle reading. Um, I get a week off, which is nice to have. So I'm experimenting with pouring my beeswax and soy candles, uh, doing a lot of testing uh, uh, on that front, um, seven-day jars, various different uh, glassware that I've picked up at various different markets, the Fairfax market in L.A. and, um, and other places, and recycling uh, jars for candles that, uh, that we burn here at the house and uh, tapers and votives and um, uh, tea lights and stuff like that. So yeah, beeswax and soy. Uh, beeswax smells really good <laughs> when you're making candles. It really does. Uh, so yeah, so uh, I pulled in some new inventory. Uh, we have new Dodals or another replenishment of, the, of Robledo's Dodals and Marcella's of the latest Marcellus. And then I brought in a couple of uh, new cards that we hadn't uh, uh, furnished before. Uh, Marianne Costa's Petite Madinée. It's a mini-sized deck. And then a La Fuerza deck. Uh, and uh, I'm excited to show those. Um, so today will be the Petite Madinée. So as you can see, it's a mini deck. It measures about uh, three inches long and inch and three quarters wide. There it is next to the um, like a standard poker size card on the left. And then I'll pull out the uh, noble so you can see it next to that, which is already is a, a smaller card. I was excited to hear that Marianne Costa had made a deck. Um, I've always been a fan of her work ever since uh, the book Way of the Tarot, which usually heavily gets uh, attributed to um, Hodorowsky, of course. But I feel that she was a major contributor um, to that book, uh, making it total and complete. Um, Hodorowsky is a is a huge creative force, but uh, I believe she brought a lot of heart and depth to that project as well. Uh, and uh, so she has treated the matinee very well here. Uh, for a miniature sized deck, the images are sharp, they're good. Um, I would love to see this in a full-size uh, tarot card myself. And uh, as you can see, the uh, draping, the, the dress of the horse there, uh, good coloration. You know, uh, something that you'd, you know, I'm a fan of uh, Pablo Robledo's work and uh, I feel like this deck has also um, not failed to remember that this is uh, these are images that came from the woodcut um, blocks and um, painted with uh, by hand or by stencil. That being said. I have noticed that some people are not um, a fan of the um, the overly aged uh, looking cards uh, where they see ink blotches and um, spaces and gaps in the, the images uh, and the, the aging of the um, coloration and stuff sometimes as defects and they prefer a sharper card so this this deck also satisfies that need as well. So if you're looking for a quality uh, miniature card deck that um, 
you know, you can throw in your glove compartment or keep in a bag with you all the time. Uh, this is the type of thing that can, can do that. Um, we have them in the shop and, uh, may Marianne Costa's project here do well, uh, all around the world.